How did people learn to drive say before the 1920s? I think it's important to note that cars made during that period were a lot slower, and safety regulations during this period were a lot less strict. The salesman would show you how to operate the controls. They came with very detailed owner's manuals including how to repair them, and people actually read them. With very little traffic laws besides don't hit things, that was enough except it wasn't, clearly, as we eventually introduced proper road rules and driving schools. Around 1930 my grandmother's family got a car for the first time, her uncle visited and taught everyone how to drive. Roald Dahl talks about this in his book, Boy. His sister bought a car. The salesman gave her a driving lesson and that was it. As I recall, she quickly crashed it. I know a man who got his license in the late 1940s. It was issued by the UK Army with no practicing or testing. I can imagine it was even more lax in the 1920s. Funny story. My grandmother, who grew up in the most rural of rural places, had her license taken away when she was 75 and had to retake the driving exam to get it back. After she failed it five or six times, she was bitching it. Why do I need to know the weight limit for a car seat? I'm not having any more kids. Why do I need to know how to parallel park? There's no parallel parking for three counties. I made some commiserating comment about how the exam must have really changed over time, and she said she'd never taken an exam before in her life. When we got our first car, the salesman just said, this is the clutch, this is the brake, and this is gas, and spent about two minutes explaining how to shift gears. And we just pulled off the lot in fits and jerks and figured it out on the two-hour drive home. Made me laugh just now when I discovered driving tests in UK introduced in 1903, but not made compulsory until 1933. Well there was a lot more farming families and ag work was common in every town. So these folks were already familiar with tractor controls, and driving those old cars was pretty much like driving a tractor. So I think you just, kept it on the trail. Bro. The same way humanity has learned all things. One trial and error, two altruistic communication, three natural selection. Same way you do now. Just go out and do it. So basically for years, if you knew how to use a horse carriage you knew how to drive. There were no signs traffic or car focused police, so no need to study legislations. Also cars were very basic and easy to drive. The mechanics were the hard thing, but people with cars had time and money. For example the Model T had two gears and the brakes. Here is a video how it worked. HTTPS colon U2.BG's equals PD53 FRSP at IQZO. Instructions for operating the car were often written in the owner's manual. You read the manual and then you go out and hopefully don't crash. My grandfather went down to the local police station and asked for a driver's license. The police asked him a few traffic questions, then asked if he could drive. He said yes and was issued a license on the spot. The car dealers would teach them the basics, most of which were around just getting the car started. It took years for the road laws to catch up with the technology. There were instances where drivers accidentally hit and killed a pedestrian and ended up lynched by a mob. I remember the good old 1920s and shouting to the gas station attendant you there, fill it up with petroleum distillate, and revulcanize my tires post haste exclamation. Thanks for suggesting this internet rabbit hole to go down, from HTTPS. Because the basics of driving weren't taught, drivers frequently engaged in careless behaviors, such as not turning left through an intersection into the far, perpendicular lane. Instead, corner cutters made quick left turns much like we make right turns today hitting pedestrians and other cars. Just call me Joe. Okay, I guess that reference is pretty niche. But when in East of Eden, when Adam buys a car, a young mechanic type fella comes over and gives him a lesson on how the car works, how to get it started, and troubleshoot a few simple issues, and a basic driving lesson. I'm no historian, but have always figured Steinbeck pulled that chapter from facts rather than purely making it up. It seems about right for the demographics of who would actually be buying cars in the pre-WW1 era. Slowly, one thing I've learned today is that I have greatly overestimated how difficult learning to drive actually is.